Today we will have a look at another cheap alarm clock from China. This one from AliExpress as usual and uh, this one has uh, a sensor I think. I'm not sure which one I got in the picture we have two different types this one has uh, alarm date and temperature while on the other picture we just have alarm and uh, the date no temperature so I'm not sure which one we got it's black optically controlled liquid crystal device alarm clock so let's see what we got This is the instructions will be scanned and I will put it at the end of this video if you want to have a look. So this is the clock. This looks like we have an LED or a sensor here. Hard to tell. On the back we have alarm on, off, switch sensor on off and this is the setting switch lock alarm set date set and time set and three push button three triple a batteries i think that's too much three triple a batteries here we have the buzzer and we have a protective film here so let's install batteries and see too loud yeah it's all now it looks like we got the the model with the temperature the display is not the greatest it's clear only if you look at it from this angle from if you look at it straight it's very it's, it looks faded same with the sides and and it's the worst if you look at it from below so I think it's it's good only if you have it on the desk and you look at it this way so I don't know what the sensor does Let me switch the lights off. Okay, so if you press it's illuminated display. It's very nice illumination. But I'm not sure about the sensor. Is this a sensor? See if we can set it up. 
alarm set. Hours, make it uh, 12 a.m. Minutes, make it five. And let's wait for it. Well, it didn't beep. I don't know what's going on here. Oh, the alarm is off. I, the, the alarm was off. So let's give it another minute. Bugger. Yeah, it looks like... I don't know what this symbol is. Yeah, it tells you if the alarm is on or off. Okay, we got that. So, that's the alarm. Very loud. All right, so the alarm works, and it's very loud and annoying. Let's see, and to set the date, that's not date, that's time, this is, to set the date, exactly the same stuff, you press this button, the back, you're changing the month, the year, which is 2021, you cannot go back. Um, yeah, if you miss the date, you will, I don't know how to go back, cannot, I think the only way is to take the batteries out, anyways, set the time, same thing, But I didn't understand what the sensor is. Why do we need a sensor? Oh, I see. When you put your hand, the light comes on. So that's what the sensor is. Let me turn the light all the way make it dim and see if the if the clock will illuminate yeah as you can see so that's the sensor it will light up at night when it's dark it will light up if you press it it will will it will be fully illuminated otherwise it will just light up like this not bad but that will eat will kill the batteries quick unless you connect it to modify it and put a power adapter that will be a better solution So I 
don't think it's useful. You can manually press and you don't need the sensor on. Turn the lights back on. And this is the alarm clock. It's cheap, it's compact, it's nice. It has a loud annoying alarm, it has a light sensor, temperature, date, etc. It's not bad. I just don't like the fact that it takes three batteries. Let's take it apart and see what's inside. So this is the clock. That's what's inside. This is the light sensor which is just a, a diode and looks like it's broken. This is the buzzer. As you can see the diode is the light sensor is broken. I don't know what's the what's going on here and it's they just fixed it with a wire. So it's broken from the factory. Probably it wasn't aligned or maybe they needed it to be moving because this is a push button looks like this is the thermostat sensor yeah and that's it not bad for the price I don't I don't remember how much I paid uh, I bought it a while ago but I never tested it and if you want to read the instruction here you go thank you for watching